All right, we'll use this other super chat question from Eddie to start talking WWE. And this was kind of my question to you before we even started, which is you had the smallest news bit on freaking on small, <laughs> small news bit, and and people every look, everyone knows he wants to go there. It's not like it's news. I mean, I was just saying basically, you know, what would be good. It's like the same thing I said about Jade, right? Which I probably said twice so far. This is the third time I've said it. Wouldn't it be great if Jade showed up on Raw and the first thing she did was body slam Nia Jax? Yeah. What what a great opening pop and what a way to get her off onto a good start. I'm not saying that's happening. You know, me suggesting it might even hurt it happening, but I still said it. But it's the same thing. It's like, oh, you know, I mean, wouldn't it make sense to debut him at Survivor Series? Okay. Again, I know he wants to go there. I also don't know if they want to take him. I mean, yeah. there's all kinds of speculation. At the end of the day, the only person who knows, um, you know, Lebec may know, you know, Nick Khan probably knows, but the decision is Vince McMahon on this one. And it's up to Vince. And I could see Vince taking him, and I could see Vince saying, it ain't worth it. We, we're doing great. We don't need the headaches. It could go either way. And, Maybe you know, he's seeing the same softness in the house show numbers that you're seeing. Um, well, look, Vince is Vince, uh, probably is studying it. I don't know. The old Vince would have been, of course. Uh, this Vince, I don't know. Um, because it's not their life and you know, and anything like that, you know. I, I also think they are very much in cruise control right now, and we're probably going to see uh, an increase in angles and such happening, uh, in, in a month or so again, late November and stuff. Yeah, I think so. Or, or well, November to build up Survivor Series, but then you know, late, you know. Actually, probably probably starting starting after the uh, the holiday break is probably when when they'll really go hard, you know, and try to set everything up for WrestleMania because they'll they'll probably have the remnants of the WrestleMania card. The problem is the main event. <laughs> you know what I mean? Because who know the main event's not up to them. You know what I mean? Don't you think that if Dwayne Johnson wants to do the match, it actually may even help the idea of punk coming in ever so slightly because of the fact that now Cody would need someone else to, to wrestle. It's up to Vince. I don't think that that makes any difference in the world. I think that it's, it's absolutely Vince just going like, yes, he'll sell a lot of merchandise. Yes. He'll probably help TV ratings short term. Mm -hmm. He'll probably help house show business short term. And very few people can do that. I just so see that two night thing of the two main events and, you know, the, the multitude of, of big matches that you need. And it yeah. just, it just tells me a little bit that if, if it's not Cody and Roman, then maybe, then maybe punk does have a spot that that is necessary. Yeah. yeah sure I, 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 but they, they could do a million different people there. I think it all comes down to Vince, you know, Vince, you know, Vince, you know, and, and, and with most guys, he would bring them back. With most guys, he wouldn't fund a lawsuit against him either. You know what I mean? I mean, mm -hmm. how, how many guys? I mean, he never sued Brett. I mean, he threatened to, but he never did. You know what I'm saying? It's like this. This is. Um, I don't think he ever sued sued anyone. I mean, um, did he? Who did he ever file? I'm trying to think. He might have filed suit against Schultz. He certainly threatened Schultz. What about uh, nails? I mean, he filed charges. They were they ended up in court, but I think um, so. I guess maybe I think that they sued each other and then ended up being dropped. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, he never came back. He was one. He, he's one of the few. <laughs> and and I would say Vince would have never brought him back. Um, I don't know where Punk stands. Again, you know, it's just like you know. But yeah, just people. You know, again, all I said was that that would be a, a good spot. And then I start. I woke up and. It's like I see my name trending on Twitter and I see his name right next to mine trending on Twitter. I'm sure he loved people. that one. Yeah. And and uh, well, <laughs> actually, you know, you know, it does help. Him. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I mean, you know, he doesn't like me, but I'm sure it, it, it absolutely helps him because one of the things that that, you know, um, will benefit him is if people, um, you know what I mean? If it becomes a real, real big deal to where. You know, you, you almost are forced to do it. It, uh, it helps his leverage greatly. And then they may go, you know what? Everybody wants it. Let's do it. Um, you know, I mean, you know, uh, um, but I mean, as far as Vince and everything like that, you know, again, I don't know where Vince's head's at. And and nobody else there does either, other than, like I said, you know, there might be three or four people who've discussed it with him. But the wrestlers don't know. The office doesn't know. 
it's a Vince decision, and and I don't know which way Vince goes on this one. I only know that you know it's it's something he'll want. And you know, does Vince see blood in AEW and think that this is the one that'll be the death blow? Then it's worth bringing him in if he thinks that. Um, but I don't know. You know, I don't know. This is kind kind of related to what we're talking about, but I just thought about it, which is like if you were to debut CM Punk, if he was to come in. Do you think that they're going to push a lot of their big stuff to Raw just because SmackDown is sort of like the lame duck show right now? Mm, yes. Plus, um, Raw is the one they have to negotiate the deal. SmackDown deal is already done. So, yes, I think so. I think anything that will make Raw look more... Um, I think anything big that will that will boost something, the tendency should be to put it on Raw right now. Yes, yes. Uh, okay, so let's talk about the. Uh, actually, before we even get to Fastlane, you also had a note about Roman and Cena not being the yeah. plan for Crown Jewel. Yeah, that's all. You know, it's, I thought that make a good match for them to do, but it's not the match that they're doing. So yeah. So we we have to see that one play out because yeah, I mean, I just saw Cena with the Bloodline stuff and just sort of assumed that they. Were I assumed. Roman. I, I I assumed that that was the. I only know that it's not in Crown Jewel. Perhaps Survivor Series. It could be. That's all I was told was no, not at Crown Jewel. So I, you know, I mean, I think it'll be obvious. I think it'll, I think Crown Jewel should be obvious by. Um, I would say a week from today, if not Saturday night coming. I mean, at you know, at best, we should have something really hot coming out of the show. Um, I mean, Roman's not on the show. I mean, Roman will be on the show a week from tonight. And I presume that that's where whatever angle he's doing for Crown Jewel will start. So I would say a week from tonight, we will probably have a good idea of the Crown Jewel main event. Now, by them not having a title match, could it still be possible that they are in a tag team against each other playing off of fast lane? Uh, it's an intriguing match. Yeah, sure. You know, yeah, it's, it's, it's certainly possible. I don't think so though. Okay. I mean, I mean, but yeah, it's, it's certainly possible. All right. Let's talk about fast lane. There are only currently five matches announced. I'm assuming we'll get some more after SmackDown. Um, but, uh, obviously the main event is Cena and LA Knight, which I think is going to be a fun and unique tag team against the Jimmy Uso and a uh, solo. Yeah. And, 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 then, and, and you've got Jimmy Uso to do the job. So that's, that's an easy finish. But what's funny to me is you split up Jay and Jimmy, and yet they're both in tag team matches on this show, which is kind of funny. Uh, cause Cody and Jay yeah. well, faced you, off you, against the judgment day. Yeah, you have, and you you're gonna have some interaction in some form of all of that. Yeah, um, I don't think they're gonna keep them apart. You know, I mean, I think that they'll do something in some way on that show, which might be one of the more interesting aspects of the show. Seth Rollins and Shinsuke Nakamura. Uh, there were also some stuff around Punk and Seth Seth Rollins based on the promo. People are thinking that there was best in the world stuff kind of targeted uh, at, at CM Punk. So some, uh, but overall as a match, I thought the, you know, Nakamura is, is, it's a unique way that they are building him, but I, I just don't sense that they see him at that same level. So it's a little bit of a dead match to me. You know, their last man standing matches are usually good. Um, to me, it's, yeah, I don't, I don't anticipate Nakamura winning the title right now. So, um, you know, it's, yeah, I mean, it's we already had the match on the last show. Didn't knock him dead. It was it wasn't bad, but you know, it was not usual WWE world title on pay per view caliber. You know, and I don't blame Rollins for that, but it just wasn't. And but last man standing matches in WWE usually are pretty damn good. There is also the now who knows if 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 Priest is even ready to go at this point, but there's always that aspect of he he could cash in at some point yeah absolutely yeah uh and then eo sky against oscar against charlotte flair in a triple threat match for the women's championship which you know I, I i'm kind of at my wits end with these triple threats and these four ways but they're <laughs> great all three <laughs> of them are great well 
Maybe we can do two ref bumps to make it even better. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Uh, and then uh, Latino World Order, Mysterio, Escobar, and uh, and it says and or Wild and Del Toro. They don't know which one yet, I guess. Yeah. Uh, against Lashley and the Street Profits. Yeah. Well, it's obviously that the Street Profits are the ones that are supposed to benefit the most from this. So, so they should probably go over, I would say. You know, obviously you got Joaquin Wilder, Cruz Del Toro, easy pick to do jobs. I mean, they did a tag match just a couple of weeks ago where didn't they lose in like three minutes or something like a nothing. So it tells you where, you know, they're there, you know, the mentality of them is right now. Yeah. I'm calling it down granny's memory lane. Are you oh. reading from your memoirs? Yes. No, no, okay. no. That's past. Oh, okay. This yeah, is new that's... stuff. This is more up to date, you know. I'm I more... see. Okay, this is the more recent stuff. Yeah, new old stuff. I just no, said. no, no. Okay, no, no. the <laughs> New Testament. Everyone, let her go. We lived on a farm ten miles east of Baker. More and... recent, you say? <laughs> I was going to say this isn't new. No, this is old. It's old. Okay. Okay. Who said new? I didn't say new. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh, we're just going to be not... quiet. And you... Am I out of my mind? No. <laughs> yes, we're all out of our minds. <laughs> now I'm upset. No, stop. <laughs> I'll, I, I'm fining Vinny. Vinny, you're being fined $100. Oh. It was Martels and Hebes. Hebes? Was Martel. <laughs> the Hebes. The Hebes. And the Hebes only had one daughter named Alice. Yeah. What's so funny about the name? The Hebes? The daughter Alice, uh, she knew how to yodel, and she was what, what she'd call... Nowadays, a rebel. The yodeling rebel. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Granny, if I may interrupt, what did they call her back then? Alice. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> you thought I wasn't going to like this segment, Granny? This is the best segment we've had on the show in years. Hey, guys, did you love this clip? If so, you should join our channel. Just hit the join button and you'll have full access to every single show that we do. Wrestling Observer Live, Wrestling Observer Radio, The Brian and Vinny Show. All of them in full HD, full length, plus archives of all of your favorite shows. Click join today and don't miss out.